What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. Got the 2015 TCI on Mount Shell. Yep. So, got a story for y'all. Y'all know that I'm active in scouts and love all of that. And Recently since I, well, yeah, it's almost, it's been eight months, I guess. I don't know, somewhere around there. Um, since I have become an adult in there. So ever since that happened, I've gotten some really cool opportunities um, to do since I've been, let's not be too cocky, but accomplished, we'll say that. So for example, I've, um, I've taught a class, a, an adult led or an adult leader class you know two months after I turned 18 because I was told that I already had the training even though I didn't I've helped run multiple different programs um, I run part of a camp in uh, this summer and this will be my third year but this weekend I'm running a whole camp not just part of one let me explain. So, um, where do I start? So, the the scouts is divided up into different groups. You have the troop, which is the individual like unit. The troop, all the troops combined together in a local area is called a district, and then all the districts combined into an area say a county or two or three different counties is a council so I am pretty high up in my district so because I, I know the right people and I've you know helped out with lots of different things I had one of my friends call me the other day I've he he just turned 18 at the beginning of this month actually um, well this month will be April whenever this video goes up and all of this would have already happened this whole camp will be over um, probably by the time, actually, if this video goes up on Sunday, maybe I'll still be there or I'll be on my way home. Possibly. I don't know. He turned 18 in March and his dad is in charge of a pretty good amount of stuff. So whenever he turned 18, he has a lot of stuff that he, um, inherited, if you will. And we, we work together on a lot of stuff. He's he's an awesome friend. Um, you know, he, he's like a brother almost, you know. I've worked with him. And, it, yeah, he's great. I got a call from him the other day. Hey, Jack, what's up? And he said, yeah, um, you have a minute? Yeah, sure, I'm just sitting here on my computer, you know, not doing much. What's up? And uh, he's like, yeah, so we have a problem with Campery. Okay, well, what's the problem? Blank, and this person who shall not be named, has been running this camp for the past almost 10 years. So he's, you know, he knows what he's doing and blah, blah, blah. He said, well, on Thursday, this past Thursday, Blank stepped down and is no longer doing campery. And I'm just like... Oh, well, well, that's no good. I mean, what are we going to do? He said, well, that's what we're trying to figure out. So there's there's lots of things going around in the district, and uh, we need someone to manage it, and we want you to manage it. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, we, we want you to manage it. Here, let me let me transfer you to my dad so that he can explain all of it hands me over to his dad he explains that basically you know this person who had been doing it for 10 years basically out of nowhere just stepped down and they were gonna put me in charge of a camp that was in less than a week I got this call on a Saturday it was it's it's gonna be next Saturday it's like six days away I mean, I have four days until I have to go up there and, you know, run this thing. In four days, 
from now at this time. I'll be driving up there. So basically, he's like, are you are you sure you're able to do this? And I said, you know what? I've I've done pretty crazy stuff. I'm I'm looking for a challenge. Chuck, you got it, you know. And yeah, so I'm in charge of a whole freaking camp now. That's in less than a week. And I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you see, th this isn't like any other camp. I've, I've run like smaller things before, but this is different because we're talking about um, hundreds of people here. About 250 people that I'll be, you know, and, and my staff team and the youth participants and adult participants, you know, 250, 300 people. So basically my job is just to manage them and to be kind of like the uh, main face of this camp. And I'm so confused on what to do. I, I'm kind of getting it because I'm getting emails left and right about, here we go, we need this, 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 blah, 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 you know. And I'm just like, you literally just gave me this we'll call it a project like two days ago I don't you didn't give me any instructions on what I need to do you just you know you, you just basically said just just do it and I'm I'm honestly really nervous about it because I was supposed to um I was supposed to be going up there to do a ceremony and I was planning on that because I do the ceremonies hold on oh my my nose is hurting a lot it's burning for no reason but I was supposed to go up there practice my ceremony all day and then perform it later that night but I don't think I'm gonna be able to now which means that I'm gonna have to find someone else to do it and everyone else is gone so and this isn't just a little script that anyone can memorize in a day this is a six page script you know with paragraphs of Cherokee and Ex explanations and this and that and I mean I'm going to be running around all day making sure that everything is functioning properly making sure that the staff is doing their job all the youth are having fun all the adults are lounging back probably sleeping you know doing whatever and I'm not going to be able to do my thing and I'm I'm not worried about that but it's it's kind of like a letdown like I was looking forward to that and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it which means I have to find someone else to do it and I, I, I can't find anyone. I don't know who to go to now. So I'm going to talk to someone tonight. Tonight's Monday, so which means we have a meeting. Um, I'm going to talk to someone if they're there. Hopefully they're there because they don't answer phone calls or texts or anything. Um, and hopefully he can provide me with an alternate script, which you know I don't need to dress up for, and I can just kind of like go off of the lines, you know, as I'm on there. And if not, then I'm going to have to create one myself because I cannot, you know, do that. So, you know, th there's so many, like, different things going on with this. Like, today, Monday, all these emails are flowing in now. I got, like, five or six over the weekend, and I've gotten at least 20 within the past two hours. I'm getting phone calls left and right. Hey, Cam, uh, what about this? What about this? And I'm just like, I don't even know. And you know, the guy who's going to be running it next year, he even called me, and he's he's in charge of part of it there. And I I was thinking, well, you know, this is, this is going to be a really good experience for me. It's going to be a lot of fun, but why didn't you hand it over to him? He's running it next year. He'll, you know, it'll give him experience. But I'm possibly going to have a meeting with him tonight. I'm waiting for a phone call back. I mean, he could call me at any minute. Um, so. I'm honestly, like, really nervous about this. Like, I don't want to screw this up. And I know that if even if I do screw it up, I'm not going to get all the blame put on me because, heck, this is just something I got, you know, I had a week to put together. But, 
you know, th- this is a huge responsibility, and it's it's going to affect my position in the district either in a positive way or a negative way. If I if I do real well and I get a lot of really good reviews about it because we fill out you know surveys on oh how do you think the staff did how well was camp run and blah 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 if i get positive reviews then there we go i'll just you know it'll look good for me but if not it won't hurt me but you know it it won't you know be that great either so i'm super nervous about this because i've never done anything like this before but it's going to be super super exciting um i get to go up there way early on friday um i'm going to give one of my friends a ride up there he he was the one that i was talk who called me originally like i said he's a good friend of mine um so we're gonna i'm gonna give him a ride and he's i don't know like what his position is for this i think he's just in charge of his station or something but he's pretty much going to be like my right right hand man because i i know how he functions he knows how i function um and i really you know trust him a lot so hopefully he's not you know at that station the whole time because i can really rely on him not that i can't you know do stuff without him but he is a key part to you know success so yeah it's a three hour ride up there uh he might leave school early i'm not sure if i'll have to pick him up from there or not um because i have to go up there and i'm pretty sure i'll have to fill out a bunch of paperwork and you know I mean, I, I don't know what I have to do because I've never done anything like this. Um, I, I always refer to myself in my full title of all of my different positions. I put I call myself the wild card because I always get called for something random. If no one can find anyone, they call on me. And I'm, oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, crap. So, okay, I got this, I got this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Well, crap. Nope, 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 nope. Heck, you know what? No, 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 no. We'll just, we'll just go down there. This will be fine. (laughs) Okay. But yeah, guys, I'm like nervous about this. And like I said, this video will already be up by the time that, you know, I'm, my camp is done. And of course there will be a follow up video of, like everything that went wrong and everything that I thought could have gone better and like you guys know but yeah it's a three hour drive up there and whoo I am I'm ready for it I am ready I've been waiting for a challenge like this for a little while you know if you don't challenge yourself you know you're never going to get anywhere Really? Oh my gosh. We just about done? Yeah, it's right down there. (laughs) 
Sorry about all those notifications. Those little bubbling, those things. I know they've been appearing throughout this video, but. Yeah. All right, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's magic right button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or I'm going to be your camp director. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't get raped. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.